This video is going to be a little bit different from all my other videos because I have a really specific message that I want to share with you guys. So I'm going to start with a quick little story about myself and I promise it's going to be super short and that there is a point to me telling you this so just bear with me for a minute. I have always loved the English language. So when I was a kid my dad used to read to me all the time until I started reading to him at like two. I mean, you know, at the time I wasn't actually reading because I had just memorized the books that he would read. I had memorized where the page flips were and I was reading the book back to him. So all throughout high school I was in AP English classes and then I ended up going to college where I focused on English and had a specialization in technical and business writing. So I've now been writing and editing professionally for like almost 10 years. Okay, so here is the point of me telling you all that. Even with all of that, all that experience I have with the English language, I probably still only know about 40,000 words in English. And the average fluent English speaker knows between 20 and 30,000 words. So now, do you know how many words there are in the English language? An estimated 1,022,000. That means most of us only know between 2 and 4% of the English language as native speakers. As much as I love the English language, I have zero intention of trying to even learn 10% of the English language and I'm sure most of y'all feel the same way. So why then do we have this crazy expectation that we have to know 100% of a language before we can call ourselves fluent? The way that I see it, fluency is being able to clearly communicate in a language and to be able to navigate around the words that you don't know or the vocabulary that you don't know by using vocabulary that you do know. There's been plenty of times where I wanted to say a specific word in Spanish and I'm like, look, I don't know how to say this in Spanish. And so instead, I explained or described that object using other words that I do know in Spanish until that person was like, oh, you mean... Fluency doesn't mean that you can just communicate on all subjects all the time. Just because you don't know how to talk about medical information or engineering or any other specific sort of topic doesn't mean that you're not fluent in English. And it also shouldn't mean that you're not fluent in whatever language it is that you're trying to learn. To gain true fluency in any language, focus on learning the things that you use regularly in your native language because those are going to be the exact same things that you're going to continue to use in your target language. If you could say all the things you regularly say in English in your target language, I can almost guarantee that you would more quickly consider yourself fluent and you'd also feel much more confident about saying that you're fluent. But instead, we make it way harder on ourselves, and so do a lot of the lessons out there. Like, bruh, why is the first thing you're teaching me about the airport? Unless you work at an airport, travel that frequently, or are only learning the language to travel, don't start there. That's why I put a lot of thought into what I actually teach on this channel, because I want to make sure I'm teaching things that you can actually use now, like things that are going to make you feel more comfortable using the Spanish language and make you feel fluent faster. Stop waiting for just this magical moment to start talking when you feel like you suddenly know enough. If you keep waiting to start speaking, you're never going to do it and you're never going to be fluent. Even if you only know a couple of words and phrases, use the hell out of those. Gracias por estar aquí. Por favor, like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Hasta la próxima.